morning everybody. Uh, this is going to be quick, short. I don't have time to mess about today. Sorry if I don't look very uh, presentable, but I've been up long hours last night. The previous one that I showed you, I showed you with three sets of LEDs and uh, I changed the configuration slightly. We now have four sets of LEDs. Uh, which is you can have a living room, you can have a bedroom, you can have a bathroom, and you can have a kitchen. Or you can have two up, two down, whatever you want. But there is positive proof that we can have as many LEDs as you want. Now, each of these are 60 LEDs, so I've got 120, I've got 240. Due to the size of these LEDs, that's about the maximum we can get on there. But this here baby uses this thing called a pin diode. Which is like the head of a pin. It is 0.2 by 0.3 millimeters in size. That is fucking minute. And there's 1,200 LEDs there. So 1,200 LEDs multiplied by three volts is an awful lot of goddamn power. All of that power that you see here is being generated by the small device that I said is called a scale away conversion unit. If I can do that in my lab on a budget of less than $150,000 over the last year, I have produced that tech. And NASA spend billions and billions and produce one volt. Who is Robin who then you've got CERN that little project in Switzerland that's wasting billions and billions and billions smashing atomic structures together nothing ever come of smashing something together go and have a look at the devastation in Hiroshima and Nagasaki that was courtesy of Albert Einstein's equation this works on the opposite of Albert Einstein's equation, where the equation that I use in layman's terms, the closer to zero you get, the more power you can have. Now this energy will run from now till the big sun goes out, and that's a long time away. In fact, it will last longer than what the sun said, because once this is set up, it's in a state of perpetual energy transfer. Those academics hate the word perpetual because it defies all their laws of thermodynamics. Now, if you want this tech and you want this type of energy in your home, then you are going to have to help me. I've got the tech. You need the tech. We need to put the tech in your house. Now I require funding to make this work. None of the investors want to play. The reason why they want to play is because they want to charge you for the energy that this creates. And my arguing point is no, the panel goes to the user, to you, and you make your own energy. The investors want to make this a kilometre square, making millions and millions and millions of watts and then charge you every day for the free energy. So I've told the investors, fuck off. I don't work for an investor, I work for you. Now will you help me? That's your choice. Thank you very much.